I'm Jess and in today's video I'm going to be continuing my three-part series on DIY wall art by showing you how I make a DIY wall tapestry using only things I already have at home on hand. So the whole concept of this series is everything is 100% free, zero dollars. I'm not spending any more money to fill up my walls in my house, but if you want to make this at home, it really is just a quick trip to the thrift store or to a dollar store and I promise you can find all of these things that I'm using for this project super easily. So today I'm going to be showing you step by step my process to make this big statement boho wall art piece. I already actually have one hanging in my guest bedroom right now and I loved it so much that I wanted to add one to my own bedroom. So today I'm going to be showing you my process and if you want to learn how I make this just keep watching. So to start off this project, the first thing you'll need is a scarf. I like to use scarves for this project because they normally already have fringe and I like a good shortcut, but really any clothing item or old fabric you have will work. The two most important things though when choosing your material is to not do what I did great start. I know, but seriously, make sure it's a light color so that when you dye it, the color will come through. And the second thing is to make sure that the fabric is made of 100% natural materials. So funny story, I used this scarf, which was 100% polyester. So I kind of played myself with that. I ended up having to use a different material. I used this sundress that was 100% cotton and it worked really well. So I'm gonna switch halfway through and that's why. But do yourself a favor and just make sure it is a natural material that you're dying. To start off with, I'm gonna be continuing with the polyester tapestry. I promise I use this same techniques on both so it's really not different I just didn't really want to refilm it but here I am starting to cut off the fringe I'm doing this on the bottom as well as the top of the scarf and this we're gonna add back later when we add some of the detailing at the bottom of the tapestry next I cut the bottom into an asymmetric point and back at the top of the scarf I'm cutting off a piece because it was a little bit too long for my liking plus now I can use it to make even more fringe and add even more depth and detail I didn't do this with all the tapestries, but that's kind of what's fun about this project in my opinion, is you get to customize it and have fun. And there are no wrong answers, except don't use polyester. That's, that's the one wrong answer you can have. <laughs> Moving on, I'm adding the fringe to the bottom of the tapestry and I'm just pinning it in place. You'll see that I did it in sections, but that's really not a big deal. You cannot tell once it's hanging on a wall. And I just went ahead and sewed those pieces now I'm adding the second layer the same exact way. I also added the thinner fringe that came on the scarf at this point too. I just sewed it on. Now I'm going to dye the tapestry. I'm starting off with a tablespoon of detergent as well as a cup of salt into really hot water that's in this bucket I have here. This is gonna make the color more vibrant. I'm using dark green writ dye in the liquid form and I poured about half the bottle in because I really wanted it to be vibrant. And now I'm stirring it up and helping that salt and the detergent dissolve in the hot water a little bit. Now I'm adding in my new and improved 100% cotton tapestry. And I used a spoon to kind of stick it down in there and try to make the dye line as even as possible. And I let that sit for about 30 minutes. Then I hung it outside with some binder clips on a hanger. And I hung it on the only reasonable thing I could find, an old TV dish. So while I let the sun do its thing, I went back inside and I stained the wood with this dark walnut stain that I use for basically all of my projects at this point and I just used a rag to do that. It takes about 30 minutes to dry, so by the time it was done, my tapestry was done drying, and I took a staple gun and attached the front of the tapestry to the back of the piece of wood that I had stained. And that is it. Cue the B-roll. Okay guys, that's it for, <laughs> I think my voice just cracked. Okay guys, that's it for this DIY wall tapestry. It was super easy despite some of my mistakes throughout. If you actually follow what really works, I promise it's really easy. It's funny because the first time I did it, it worked out perfectly. And then this time, 
I managed to mess it up a few times. But learn from my mistakes and I promise it will be a really easy project and an awesome end result. I love how big you can make it or how small depending on the space and you can really use it to fit whatever empty wall space that you have. So if you end up trying this, I would love to know. Please comment down below. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. That really helps me and helps my channel grow. And if you wanna see more videos from me, especially DIYs, please subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.